Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm Brian, the CEO, and thank you for watching. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, let me break it down for you. If you like fishing, if you like the outdoors, if you like travel, if you like just having fun in general, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell. I would really appreciate it. All the support I can get is greatly appreciated. Did I say appreciated twice? I don't know, I'm trying to talk too fast sometimes. But welcome to the show. Today, I have to get new tires for my truck because they are bald, they are slick. And I gotta get the truck aligned because every time I'm driving, it just skirts, skirts. We gotta get that taken care of. The last video, I got my fans replaced and I got some hoses replaced because the truck was overheating and the AC just wasn't kicking out cool air. And in Miami, that sucks. So I'm getting everything done on my truck, taken care of. That way I got some meat on the tires so that I can go to take my boat to the boat ramp without <sighs> sliding into the water. Cause I don't want to be on the chip show with being that guy who is unable to pull the boat out of the water because there's no meat on the tires and I slide in and I definitely don't want to be in the water with Fred. He's a 17 foot croc that lives over there at Black Point Marina, but that's neither here nor there. Today's episode, I'm going to try and catch a fish in between bouncing from one side of Miami to the other side of Miami because my tire guy is down south and the guys doing the alignment are up north. So join me in my day as I go and try and catch some fish in between, you know, these different appointments for the truck, the, the truck doctors. Again, hit subscribe, smash the notification bell and enjoy the episode. So far, I'm loving this uh, backpack from Cast King. Been putting it to good use. Hop on a another lure doing a little salt water right now so i gotta use one of these little no live bait needed and that's how we're gonna start the day right there a little no live bait needed three inch you guys don't need a lot more than three inches there's no current right now so i doubt i'm gonna get any hits but we'll give it a go all i see is little like mayans and Tilapia, some grass carp, but that's not what I'm here for. And right now I'm I'm testing a, a microphone. Had it cut off on me the other day. Hopefully this time it stays on. I'm actually on my way to go get new tires for the truck. They are running flat and I don't want to take my boat to the marina, especially here at Black Ooh, there's a hole. Especially here at Black Point. I don't want to end up on the chit cho with my truck sliding into the water with Alfred making fun of me and the whole world watching. So I'm definitely putting these new tires on before I take my boat out because my boat's finally done. And uh, I'm very, very happy. I'm very excited to get it out. So next week I'm gonna get my boat back out in the water, try to get Mike on it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna go for right now. I might try and do a little inshore, some snook fishing and stuff. It should be fun. All right, every time you fish, you're not gonna get something. Well, you usually will get something, but sometimes you just gotta put it in a little more work. Sometimes you gotta hit more than one spot to catch the fish that you're trying to catch. So that's what I'm out here doing. I'm on my way to go get new tires on my truck because mine are bad. I'm embarrassed to even show you guys, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get it. Hop to the next spot and go get these new tires. What do you say, you think I need new tires? Time to uh, replace these bad boys so I don't slide in the water. Spot I always gotta check. You never know if there's a fish here or not. Since I am limited on time, I'm not gonna really worry about swapping my lure. I'm just gonna get down in here. I work in front of this pipe. So I did lose a big snook here the other night and it hurt my feelings i'm still thinking about it i say it was about a 30 inch snook was not expecting it but it happened i lost it i go from pulling drag to literally hearing my lure crash against the metal right here let's see how far this microphone works since i'm testing it Ugh. This walking sucks though, because uh, I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow to get my knee checked out. Yeah, all I see is uh, mullet, mullet, mullet. 
I don't even see like these invasive fish right now. Now this is some ugly, ugly water here. All I smell is like dead. Almost like someone did Santeria. Santeria, ah, oh, my knee hurts. Definitely not starting the day off too good. But we're gonna keep working our way down. So let's go find a, a spot where I can catch a damn fish. So I didn't get a fish yet, but it was time to head to DB Tire Service down in Homestead. I always go there because David always takes care of me and I know they're always gonna do a good job. So if you're ever in the Homestead area and you need some new tires, go ahead and check out DB Tire Service. Finally got some meat on the tires. Let's go try and catch a fish. I'm waiting to get an alignment, but it's on the other side of town. So I got here early and you know what? If you're early and there's somewhere to fish, you might as well fish, right? Just make a move. Get my, my cast king backpack on right here. And uh, I'll try and use the, the swim bait, but I think I actually might. Oops, my camera turned around the other way. There we go. I think I might actually have to use the, uh, a worm over here. I think there's more large mouths in there than peacock bass, but we're gonna find out. Got, got a fish, got a fish, got a fish. Got him. There it is, right there. Can you guys see it? A little peacock bass action. Now, time to go get my truck aligned and get out of here. Let's go. All right, so I finally got a fish. Now it's time to drop off my truck at Toyo Works to do my alignment. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some food. When I walked up, this dude literally had an extra coffee and just handed it to me. So of course I gotta take a couple shots of Cuban coffee. And uh, for lunch, yep, it's a media noche. It's like a sweet bread sandwich uh, that has ham, pork, Swiss cheese, pickles, mustard, and mayonnaise. It is absolutely delicious. So if you guys are in Miami, if you're not from Miami or down here, you need to try a Media Noche sandwich or even just a Cuban sandwich. They're delicious. You can hit pretty much any little shop, any little hole in the wall spot and the food's typically delicious down here. Whee! Now it's time to get the truck washed. I have not washed this truck in probably six months. The inside is dirty. The outside is filthy. Definitely need some good TLC. Well, that would suck if someone sat on it, huh? This is the danger of uh, having a fishing truck. <laughs> Sometimes these fall out of the packaging or the, the tackle boxes and stuff. And uh, yeah, that would have hurt somebody. I'm sure there's more laying around. I got one stuck here. That thing is stuck in the vent. I've got lures here. I got the vector lures. That's got hooks on it. I got some here. There's lures everywhere in this truck. Hooks, weights, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, yeah. Don't you just love this part? I don't know, as a kid, going through a car wash was always super fun for me. And as an adult, it's still kind of fun. <laughs> oh no, I'm going backwards. I really hope you guys enjoy the content that I'm making over here. Um, there's a lot more to come. There's a lot more to come. And again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you like what I do, if you enjoy the outdoors, if you like fishing, if you like traveling, if you like family stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and I will greatly appreciate it. But until next time, as always, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.